Hello guys, welcome back to Everyday with me, Nick. I'm Nick, and we're back at a job that we sh we did. The first job with a digger, uh, which was taking a load of oversight out, digging foundations for an extension of a garage. And I'm glad to say that we are back today to just do the last little bit uh, that this, uh, this site needs. I uh, just want some grading down, um, in front of in front of the extension uh, a, a trench digging for a dwarf wall and um, what do we call it and a, and a service line trench pouring in unfortunately I've only got the 400 bucket for the service line I have got something coming up about giving another bucket I also got a, uh, a little treat for you guys so bear with me on that so I'm starting to pan around here and we've obviously got, uh, we're inside the extension. I'm gonna show you it in a second. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're back. Uh, I'll show you what we've got to do here. So what we've got to do here is the ground here is lower than the ground outside. Now we knew that, we knew that was gonna happen. We just didn't wanna to take too much out to start with. So all we're gonna do is take, um, up to them stakes there all the way across there's going to be a dwarf wall going in there uh just to separate it all he's coming i think it's two meters out from the from the building and uh we're just going to take that down to to a um a height just below about about a brick below now it should be it should be it should be 150 mil below damp course however this is double damped and um yeah, so we should. That's that's the one way of getting around it. Um, it is double damped. Uh, we can see that just there. Just see the the outline of it there. So that's a good indicator that we know it's double damped. So that's one fifty above. Um, so yeah. So no, we're we're back. The extension's finally finished for him. Uh, we're a big three meter bifold door going in there. Uh, and a window on the side but yeah the, it's a good size a bit windy down here tubed in on that uh, on the original garage not too bad not too bad at all so yeah we're just going to take out all this here dwarf wall trench down here only going to be 300 deep it's, it's going to be nothing at all just the width of the bucket 400 mil <coughs> we're going to bring this uh Bring it right up to here and back. So should be pretty. And just fill, just do a little bit of backfilling here. Just only a little bit. Again, sorry about the wind. Just a little bit of backfilling down here, and then he's going to put some uh, some shingle. Now, personally, I would put all shingle in there. Acts as a French drain. It's going to be a bit of topsoil. Here's the cool man Joe <laughs> with his Ray Betty's on. So yeah, I'll set these up. Yeah, and this is inside, it's all boarded out. Um, it's a good size. Gonna have a, t a toilet in the corner here, isn't it, Joe? Yeah. It's gonna be a toilet, yeah. Well, that obviously it will because there's the services. So, yeah, it's gonna be all right. Uh, window to go in there. It'll be a good space. Very good. So yeah, um, all right, let's get set up and we'll, uh, so we'll just like to say, we're just gonna take some of this out and put it to the side. Um, I've come down with a bit of a cold. Thanks very much to my boys. They've uh, passed that on from nursery, I'm sure. Uh, it's, it's messing with me head a little bit, but we'll get by it. We'll get by it. It's not COVID. It's not COVID. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna do it. He's putting, uh, that's what, that's what I meant to say. Once we took this out, we'll take, put a blinding of uh, hardcore down and then uh, he's got some uh, sharp sand to put down and then he's going to do a uh, sand gravel, uh, sand and sharp sand, uh, cement and sharp sand uh, screed for the top and, he's, and then he's going to put porcelain down, uh, porcelain tiles, some big, some big ones. Uh, he hasn't got them yet, uh, but that's what he's going to put down. So you'll be able to step out from here pretty much straight just just a, a marginal step uh step down uh and then it'll be uh it'll be all right it'll be be a good size and then like i say it's two meters from 
from here but to where that uh, to where that dwarf wall is going to be so yeah this should be crusty but i'm going to get you set up in here out of the way of the wind get a bit of video a bit of time lapse i know you all want a bit of all and a bit of both uh or one or the other but it just takes up too much editing too much space when i uh when i prat around with video sorry nobody wants to hear that thing <laughs> i don't even want to hear that thing today uh yeah just where the where he's got some turf up there as well he's uh that's just where a service line's going to go straight straight to back here for the for the uh for the water so yeah all cush deep right let's get on stop yapping because i do that a lot Fucking idiot so yeah right see you in a bit guys <laughs>
Okay, so at this point, I went and got a bottle jack and put it underneath the um, underneath the digger on a couple of trench blocks. I just started jacking it up, <laughs> and um, I guess surprisingly, it lifted it up no problem. Got it, got it up enough. You know, we started putting some things under to keep it in place and support it. <laughs> Just enough to be able to get the uh, get the digger to be able to swing round, and then use the arm to uh, support it to get it up. Uh, and there you go. All in all, it took about twenty minutes. If you take notice of the clock, I think I started about five two and finished at quarter past. So it's quite a good save. I was really glad. So now we're just trying to dig a bit out. Uh, just for this water line to go in. Huge colossal uh, ubu on my my part, but you live and learn, and I have definitely learned from this mistake. I uh, couldn't apologise enough to uh, Mark, whose job it was. Um, <clears throat> it'll never happen again on anybody else's job. So, yeah. I know I'm going to get a bit of stick for this, but... You know what? We all make mistakes and no one's perfect, so... Hey-ho! <laughs> So we're about to wrap this up now. I'm just uh, just doing the final little bit. So this, so I've dug the trench. I fell down the trench. We've got out the trench. We've put the pipe in the trench with a lagging round it. Just filling a little bit of the trench in now. The trench that I'm taking out of here is just going to be a dwarf wall. He's uh, he's going to do the foundations himself. Uh, just put the footing in himself, and uh, that's it. Job will be a tatey. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get any more. It was only hardcore that was put down after this, and um, and whacked off, so it was graded off properly. Um, but that was it. Um, so yeah, you can see in this video that I've maybe should have done a few things differently. I know that, but hey, you know this is life, and we we don't always do things right first time but i'd like to say thank you very much to everybody who's watching commenting also subscribing really 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 appreciate it you guys are awesome you can carry on that'd be great i know these time lapses aren't great to watch because there's not much going on but you know it's, it's just a it's a great tool to cut to catch uh, a lot of a lot of footage a lot of the day a lot of the process so but yeah well, thank you very much and um we'll catch you on the next one which will be 
um, a foot to start a footing dig and um, yeah you'll obviously seen the repair video on the uh, cylinder mount so yeah I'll get that sorted out as well so take it easy guys and we'll see you on the next video thanks very much